All right, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Film Sessions. And today, we're going to take a look at Omar Bayless, okay? Everybody is fascinated with this kid, Omar Bayless. And with me, not so much. I have never seen him. I've never seen him on film. Never seen anything about him uh, until we picked him up as an undrafted free agent. And everybody's all excited about the kid. But hey, I'm a realist. Um, and listen, when I see a dude's best trait is a vertical threat, and he runs a 4-6, it's just hard to get really impressed by it. But I have not seen him play. Um, again, I'm not going to be a hater until I see it. I need to see the film first, and then I can make my assumption on how good Omar Bayless is. But listen, the stat speaks for himself. Arkansas State, I mean, he was second in receiving in uh, FBS. So I think that was only behind, uh, I don't know who was behind. Uh, but second in receiving. So he had like 1,600 yards, 17 touchdowns. Insane numbers uh, at Arkansas State. So shout out to him for that. Um, but we got to take a look at the film. And I'm just not sure yet. I'm not I'm not sold until I see the film. And I, I'm, we're going to get into it. But I'm going to tell you the mistake a lot of you guys make. Uh, the mistake a lot of you guys make is this right here, okay? You do this. You type in Omar Bayless and you click highlights. And then you want to click the first one right there that says... Uh, oh, y'all sleeping on Omar Bayless. Okay, yeah, you show me his top plays. The dude had 1,600 yards and some change and 17 touchdowns. So he had some plays, okay? But what I do, this is how I make my assessment on guys. And, and listen, it's not 100% right. Am I going to be right or wrong in my assessment? I don't know. Uh, but I, what I'm going to do is give myself a better opportunity to make a right or wrong decision. So what I do is I'm going to show you how to search. Omar Bayless versus. Okay, I click that. I see, um, okay, he's got some tape against Georgia. Okay, SEC, I'm going to watch that one. Okay, and then he's got some tape against Alabama, even though it was last year. I'm going to watch that one, okay? I'm not going to watch him versus Georgia Southern, okay? I'm just not going to do that. I'm, uh, he's Georgia Southern is all right, uh, but I'm going to go look at the hardest games. I'm going to look at the rivalry games. I want to get, when you're when you're an elite player, you show up. In the biggest times okay and when you're playing Georgia you're gonna show up and that's what I'm gonna watch first okay so that's what I click I'm gonna click this and we're gonna get into it oh my Bayless versus Georgia okay this is what this is what you want to see this is how you do a film session um, and again his biggest trait speed vertical threat well, are we, is he gonna be a vertical threat against the SEC I don't know we're gonna have to see number three team in the country against Arkansas State they're going to get destroyed, okay? That's not the point. What I want to see is, um, I want to see some plays against, excuse me, SEC talent. And he's 6'1", 212, so he's got, he's got a nice frame, okay? Nice frame that I like. Nice measurables. Okay, so that's a good catch. That's a good catch. I like that. That's a good catch. That's a good catch. I'm rolling with that so far. Little hurry up, little hurry up action. Mm, okay, over the middle, little possession. I like that. I like that too. I'm impressed so far. That's good. The go to guy. A lot of catches, a lot of yards. I want to see some down the field threats. On, on the film against Georgia. I want to see, is he going to beat somebody that probably runs faster than him? Is that is that 40 uh, an anomaly? That's what I want to see right here. So not enough time. Okay, so we might not see it just because floor, uh, Georgia's front four is going to dominate up front. We'll see. All right, let's get it. Come on. Okay, nice little release there. He was open. Uh, he was open there. He didn't. The quarterback didn't see him. Get a nice little in route. Nice release too. How physical is he gonna come out the jam right here? That's what I want to see. Is he gonna get jammed up? Okay. Nice. He did beat him. 
He did beat the receiver there. He, I mean, excuse me, he beat the cornerback there. Nice release. Didn't allow the, uh, the corner to get his hands on him. I like that. I like that. So right now I've seen two catches for about, for about 10 yards uh, so far. Again, this is why you watch the entire game because you want to see every play. You don't want to see the highlight plays. Those are cool, and those, but you don't want to see highlight plays for every guy um, because you don't know what you're getting. Oh, man, you got to get rid of the ball. Every play is not going to be a highlight. You want to see how he reacts in every situation. Oh, nice release. And listen, the Panthers are high on him because they gave him $100 million. Um, excuse me, <laughs> $100 million. $100,000 guaranteed uh, as part of his contract. So, ooh. Ooh, free play. There we go. Beat him. Beat him. He's beating this dude pretty consistently off, of, off, the, uh, off the line of scrimmage. So, we'll see. No, no big plays yet. And again, this is an uptick in talent. This is what you want to see. You want to watch these games. You don't want to see him just destroy lesser talent all the time. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, number nine is physical. I like that. Pause. Oh, uh-uh. Couldn't get off of him. See, that's what I'm talking about. Couldn't beat this dude. I, I still want to see a vertical pass play. That's his, that's his, uh, that's his, his skill set. Beating dudes vertical. That's how he got so many yards. And it's not happening against, uh, against Georgia. They got a safety shading over to him. They are, they're locking him up. So far, anyway. And they're getting destroyed. So they got to throw the ball. Scores 27 nothing right now. There's a lot of th in the first quarter, too. Here we go. Nice. Nice slants. I like it. Should be some big plays. They should, they should start lighting up on that coverage there, too. A little prevent defense. Uh, not here, but they, sh they should start running that soon. He's got a nice slant. Number nine is nice, too, though, for real. They got two big receivers. Here we go. I want to see how he... Because <laughs> that must have been a really good route because he faked like he was running a fade and then hit dude with the inside move. So I want to see how that, that happened. Can't see it because I don't have the all 22. Um, but that was a nice route. I don't know how he ended up on the inside. He's killing... Nice. Oh, he dropped it. Not that wasn't Bayless. The other the, looks like a running back dropped it. Mmm, made him pay. Made him pay. It's the big leagues, it's SEC, buddy. A lot of stutter steps at the line of scrimmage. A lot of stutter steps. Here we go. Here we go. Uh uh. Right there with him. And see, that's that's my concern right there. This is SEC. This is speed. He's not beating this dude. There was no separation right there. And he's running fast. He looks like he was pretty much close to top speed. And that's what I'm talking about with the speed. He's He might look quick against very less, lesser talent. But can he do this consistently against NFL talent? This is, this is SEC, okay? This is what he's going to see in the NFL. He's going to see elite all the time. He's going to be lined up against a true font, against a... Uh, all the top cornerbacks against a, um, a Marcus Lattimore. This, this is what you're gonna see every week. There's no no days off, and that's this is my concern. And again, again, there is a caveat that quarterback play, offensive line play, all that stuff. He can't throw the ball to himself, so I will say that too. I'm not gonna come cut him some bail there. I'm not gonna just completely throw him under the bus and say he's trash because there's a lot that goes into it. 
but I'm just telling you there's a reason why he went undrafted. Hmm, that was a good catch. Oh, no, no, no catch. All right, off man. What's okay? Running back slowed him up. Number nine getting a lot of love here. One on one down here. Might have some safety help, I can't tell. Safety, hop, safety help, cover two. They're getting rid of the ball super quick. Nice, nice run by the running back. Nice physical run. Oh, quarterback. Heard them footsteps, dog. Heard them footsteps. Here we go. Oh, nice catch. Nice catch. I think what I'm seeing is more of a possession guy um, in the NFL versus a speed. He's not. That 4-6 is not beating anybody in the NFL. I'm sorry. It's not. And, it, and you can tell, even on that other player, he got top speed in the corner. With The other corner was right there with him. Uh, so I'm not seeing him burning. I want to see him burn somebody in against Georgia. That's what I want to see. It's the third quarter, start of the third quarter, I want to see somebody get burnt. Y'all down 41-0, there's nothing to lose. Take the shots. Mm. Making these dudes pay. Cover two. They dare you to beat them. Hmm. Yeah, possession. This is possession receptions over the middle. Um, no yak. Not, and there's there's a there's a, a need for that. I'm not I'm not calling him possession guy. Is not a knock at all. Um, it's just that when you're you're a slower receiver like that, and you're you have you have uh, you have really good hands, which is what I see. I haven't seen him drop anything yet. No egregious drops. Uh, nice. That was a good throw. Like, there's openings there, so I'm not going to say there's... Number nine is eating here. Number nine is the one that's eating, not Bayless. Oh, that was all over. Can we get a flag? Can we get a... There we go. Dang, he was all over your boy. Yeah, bro, you shaking your head. You was you was all in my man's personal space, dog. Oh, there we go. Good release. He's getting some good release on some of these play action, uh, play action, not play action. Excuse me, some of these uh, read option plays. Off balance there. 
taking a deep shot. Not to Bayless, but they take, took a deep shot. I want to see deep shots with Bayless, bro. I haven't seen one yet because they shut that joint down. I mean, this is what good teams do. They shut down your best option, and I wouldn't expect nothing uh, less from George. There we go. Possession. Another possession uh, reception. Quick passes. Okay. So, here we go. Cancel this. What I am going to do, I am going to show you the... Uh, we're gonna go back and do the uh, Georgia Southern film because I want to. I want you to show. I want to see you. I want you guys to see the difference. Okay, I guarantee you this dude dominates against Georgia Southern. Guarantee it. Let's watch it. Guarantee. There we go. Already. Look. Already. Dominance. Already. Lesser talent. The dude's gonna dominate. This is. This is what I wanted to show you guys. Stark difference. Stark difference. Already. Dude's got more yards right now than than the Georgia game already. You know, off one catch. I like the number nine kid too. Big dude. Pause. He got to be six. Bayless is six one. This dude got to be six three, six four. Man, I like the view on this uh on this joint too. The view is much better. Get a wider angle and see plays develop. Yeah, they're taking shots, bro. Again, quarterback play matters too. All this does matter. I'm not I'm not trying to throw Bayless under the bus. Quarterback play matters, play calling, all that stuff, it, it matters. Offensive line, it all matters competition level oh I, I know they're going deep right here oh nah I would have they had my man one on one up top oh bust busted play you gotta let it either make your decision quicker quarterback here we go oh that's all kind of PI that's all kind of PI ref Here we go. Beat him. Beat him. He's beat. Throw it. It's number nine, bro. Number nine's a beast. Watch, watch out for that dude later. I don't know what his classification is, but here we go. Wait, damn. Number five, eight eighty one's lunch, B. Trucked your boy. <laughs> hey man, number nine is nice, yo. We should take a look at this dude. Number nine has some good plays against Georgia too. Had me second guessing who I was watching it. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Okay, see how he see how he beats these guys. Stark difference already. Competition level. He's eating. He's eating. Again, here we go. All these dudes are. All these dudes. Everybody eating, yo. Thirty-five, ten. Everybody eating. Georgia versus Georgia Southern. Big difference. Big difference. You're gonna see some big plays.
Here we go. Nice. Mmm, jeez, 47? You ain't have to do it to your boy like that? Damn. Took his head off, B. <laughs> I do want to rewind this, but I want to get through this one too. This is going to be a long video, so I know I, I want to rewatch that joint. He ain't have to do that. He ain't have to do your boy like that. Mm. Beat him. He's beat. Yeah. Oh, that's P.I. That's P.I. It's O.P.I. He wasn't even... He wasn't even discreet with that. Oh, they both holding. They both holding. Never mind. They both holding. When in doubt, was it? I can't tell what what the call was, but mmm, nice. That was that was a nice uh. That was a nice adjustment. Woo! It's a nice adjustment. I think the, the quarterback was gonna scramble. Uh, or he had faked the handoff and then scrambled. And that was that was good uh good adjustment by uh Bayless. Nice. Nice little comeback. He bailing already. Cornerback was bailing already. Hmm. Nice. Nice catch. Again, you can see you can see the production levels are up based off the talent. Based off the talent levels, man. Mm, slip. Nice. Number nine, man. No, to me, number nine looked better than Bailey so far in both film sessions. Uh, but listen, don't don't take my don't take what I'm saying as gospel, right? I, I, this this is only two games. It's it's very difficult to come with a a 
come up with a uh, overall assessment off of two games. I'm just going based off of what I'm seeing. So hit pump the brakes. I know you're gonna try to kill me in the comments. Just let's pump the brakes a little bit. Oh, broken play. And he fumbled. All right, so that's going to, that's going to, I mean, we're not going to watch the Alabama film. But um, that's going to be Omar Bayless. Um, listen, my overall assessment is that, I mean, a, a lot of people are saying, yeah, he's, he's legit, he's legit. Um, but listen, I don't know where, where does he, in the grand scheme of things, where is he going to fit? Where is he going to make the roster in the, the, the 56 or whatever we are up, up to now? Um, where, is he, where is he going to fit? Okay, because you got Roby Anderson. You got uh, DJ Moore. You got Curtis Samuel. You got uh, who else can make the roster? Um, Kirkwood is is, uh, is Joe Brady's old guy. Um, there could be, You got Farrell Cooper who could be the return specialist. I don't know. Seth Roberts is also there. So listen, I don't, I don't know that this dude is. Again, he got the combine invite for a reason. They put up a lot of stats against lesser talent, which is what you're supposed to do when you go against lesser talent. You're supposed to dominate. That's what he did. But what he didn't do, um, and maybe it's just because they game plan for him, but he didn't show up against Georgia. Okay, he had like three catches, and I don't know the exact stat line, but he had three catches, three, four catches. Didn't do much. Okay, and I'm looking for you when you're a star, you show up in the big games, and I bet you that's a big reason as to why he went undrafted. You can't just show me stats and shit and say this dude's great. Now, could he make the team? Maybe. I don't know how many receivers Joe Brady's gonna keep, but I can see five or six ahead of him right now. Um, he could come and ball out. I didn't. I did not see faster than four. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say he's a four-five guy. I didn't see four-five. Okay, I saw. He ran a 4-6 at the combine. Give him 4-5 at best. He's not a 4-4 guy, okay? And in this league, you need speed at, at the wide receiver position. So, I don't know. Going off, again, two games, that's all I got. That's all I got to, to make my assessment is two games. Um, I just don't know where he fits, okay? Um, so, I just wanted to hit it. I wanted to bring bring us down a little bit. There's a lot of hype around Bayless. Glad we got him. He went. He was supposed to get drafted. Didn't, he went undrafted, and we got him. Okay, we can be excited. He has a shot. He's got to make the best of his of his opportunity. I'm not knocking the guy, but let's just pump the brakes on this hype. Okay, there's a lot of hype. Let's pump the brakes a little bit. All right. That being said, hit that like button. I'm out.